heading south of Jodhpur to go and visit a Vishnoi village. The Vishnoi community lives by 29 principles and some of them are dedicated to their love of nature and animals. So I think it's going to be a really interesting experience to learn more about their culture and how these people live. But first we're going into the natural area to hopefully spot some black bucks and chinkara. <laughs> Buddy, oh, you're so small. You're so small. All female, and the big horns is the one male. Oh, one male. Now we're seeing like all these chinkara and they're so cute they actually remind me of little impala buck which we get in South Africa but uh, their faces man they're so cute <laughs> We've arrived at the Bishnoi village where we will be going to check out a house. I don't think we're the first tourists that are here. There are other vehicles here as well. So he was also saying that you only go to a specific house and this is where you learn about them. You can't just go to every Bishnoi house, which I can understand completely. So I'm really, still really curious to see like, um, uh, yeah, how they live and stuff like this. This cast of the Bishnoi mm -hmm. is a particular Islam, pure oh, vegetarian yeah. community. Pure vegetarian? Yes, ma'am. The beast and noi, beast mane 20 and noi mane 9, the principle of the 29. Yeah. 29 all principle is a follow of the only for this noi community. Then 29 to 9 rules is the very mostly different. One is caste of the Vishnoi, is a pure vegetarian community. Mm. Second is the caste of the Vishnoi, he protects the wild animals. And third, he protects the trees. And fourth is every people is compulsory the white turbans, every lady is compulsory the red skirts. Mm -hmm. Every Hindu is dead your body. Burn the body because caste of the Vishnoi, bury the body. They bury the body. Bury the body, ma'am. He protects the Three. Three. Okay. Ah, okay, okay. Today there is all communities, 80% all people you leave the land house mm -hmm. and cast off the Vishnoi is all 99% is the farmer community. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, I like the floor, I was already thinking like, what is this? But this is cow dung that we're standing on. Okay, so we've made it into one of the houses that has a thatch roof and a very thick wall. Apparently this place is like 80 to 85 years old, but the temperature inside of here is really cool. So I think that maybe this temperature would stay cooler when the heat outside is so warm. Okay. <laughs> so this is the red that the ladies would wear, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's good. Okay. So you're now ready, ready on? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I've got in the red on. Apparently, all the women uh, wear red and the men they wear uh, white. So above the age of 40. Above so they the age of 40. You're above the age of 40. I'm 27, guys. <laughs> but I'm wearing the red. Uh huh. Can I smell it? No smell? Okay. It's well liquid. Uh huh, but the block? This one? This is? Opium candy. Opium candy. Okay, so over here I have opium crushed with sugar, I think. Huh? Yeah. No, it doesn't have, really have a really intense smell, but they do the uh, opium ceremonies here. And this is what he is uh, busy doing now. Thank you. Why? More pain, pain killing medicine. Pain killing medicine. The poppy. The, yeah. Red. Mm -hmm. Green lantern. Mm -hmm. This is pure vegetable something. And the one in the middle is the opium, right? The poppy. Opium poppy. Yeah, the opium poppy. So this one, care and sangri. Okay. So these are crops that grow here. Yeah, this is what grows here. Ayoma. But do you know why he takes like? Because I asked him about the opium. Like, so this is just purely for medicinal reasons. Medicine of the reasons and cast of the bisnoi, you give the license of the government. Hard worker of the land, the good for energy. Mm, mm, mm. Drinking is good for health because smoking, not good. For not good for health. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so throughout India, opium use and uh, is actually completely illegal, but the Bishnoi are allowed to use the opium because uh, it's really part of their uh, culture. So, yeah, they are allowed to use it, but this isn't a legal thing throughout India. So this is why it's actually quite exciting and interesting to see how something like this is done. This is a temple? Uh huh. So first you offer Shiva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a cobra. Okay. Shivlingam Nandi. Mm. 
Guys, I do not encourage you to do drugs. <laughs> but I've tasted opium. Wow, that is a strong flavor, man. <laughs> Very herbal. <laughs> This was quite interesting to do the opium ceremony. I wasn't actually planning on taking opium, but the taste is really strong actually. Like uh, it is filtered down with the water um, and apparently it's only a little bit, so we won't, you know, go crazy. But uh, yeah, it was really interesting to actually experience that with this guy. And this is like the open kitchen. Open kitchen. Mostly used for cow dung and uh, dry all wood because green is not cut, the every is not used. Yeah, so one of the things that the Bishnoi uh, believe in is not to cut down living trees. So they protect the trees. And I was wondering, you know, if you have like a wood stove like this, um, where you would get your wood and stuff from, but actually, as you can see, this is already all uh, dry and dead wood uh, that's been found. So you've got the leaves, you've got the um, cow dung, you've got some twigs. So that's uh, what they'll cook from. The Bishnoi are also known as the original eco-warriors. They are pure vegetarian, they don't eat any meat, and they believe in um, the importance of all life, so human life, plant life, animal life. So yeah, they don't eat meat, uh, they look after the land, uh, they also have rules that if there are any abandoned animals or anything like this, that they have to take them in and look after them. So I think that's really cool and uh, yeah, I love animals as well, so it's nice to actually come to a community that is so dedicated to uh, loving animals. So we have a seven-year-old, seven-day-old baby and a 15-day baby. So we finished up at the Bishnoi house now. This went quite quick. Uh, I do think that this is quite tourist uh, based, but I can also understand that because, you know, everybody is trying to go with the times a bit and it's still really cool to see that they are keeping their traditions, keeping their way of life, but that they can earn a bit of money by showing other people how they actually do this. Um, but we were in and out pretty quickly and I'm not quite sure where we're going to next. Uh, but all in all, it is still interesting to just see, you know, how they, how they live and to be able to do an opium ceremony was also quite crazy. I wasn't actually expecting uh, to put participate in that but uh, yeah we're gonna be off to the next location so actually what a little um, misunderstanding was for me is that this was a Bishnoi house but the reason why we went to this precise house is because this is the only house that's allowed to do that opium ceremony and bring other people in A quick stop at Gouda Lake which apparently is home to a lot of birds also migrational birds and it's really cool because we just read the bird uh, the well the bird list and there are a lot of species out here man and just looking down there we can actually see the cranes and they're flying in and landing onto the lake which is a really cool sight there are so so many of them yeah so this is one of these moments that I'm a little bit sad that I didn't bring my uh, binoculars <laughs> so I can't actually see them from close by but there are many 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 of these cranes that were flying in which is really cool just looking at this board there are many birds that come here so you have like the beta the great ibis I believe or the, at least it's an ibis You've got different comrades so there are lots and lots of birds that call this place their home or temporary homes We have left the Bishnoi community and now we have come to another community that is known for its pottery. So apparently we're going to get a demonstration now on how they made the traditional pots and uh, see how they use their clay. It's heavy. This is heavy. <laughs> 100 kg. This is 100 kg? Uh -huh. Yes. Wow, lots of weight. Cement concrete. Cement concrete. Mm. Strong man. He's <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm getting dizzy just looking at it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, I cup it. Slowly, slowly. Slowly. Upper, upper, uh, upper. Yes. Mine is looking so ugly. <laughs> yeah, I did. Good. Good, good, very nice. Very nice? Very nice. <laughs> okay, okay. Yours is better, I think. <laughs> what do you think about it? I 
don't think I'm very good at this. Maybe some more practice, and it's quite slimy. <laughs> but it's a cool experience. Okay, this is short. Uh, but yes, good. Test. No, no, no. No? no. Uh, Very test. Down. No. Ah. Oh my gosh. Ah, test. Yes! Very yes, good. Good. <laughs> good, 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 good. Well, thank you. Thank you. That looks amazing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, nope. From <laughs> um, this one? Uh -huh. Inside case. Ah, next one. Up. Ah, yes. Yeah. Hey. Slowly, slowly. Okay, so we make a design. Ah, design. Only set it. One. One finger. Oh, one finger. Ah, one finger. Ah, you're such a family designer. Family design. Everything is family design. Ah. I'm sorry for ruining yes. it. I'm a potter man. I'm a potter man. I'm a potter man. I'm a potter man. Thank you. Uh, Jodhpur Market, 50 rupees. At the Jodhpur market, this is 50 rupees. 50 rupees. So if you actually have some sort of skill in this, you would be able to make some beautiful stuff. Yeah, there was actually a lot of fun. I've never done something like this uh, before, so it was really cool to experience, you know, actually making the pot. Um, it's not very nice to be busy with my hands, actually. I really, really enjoyed that. Okay, so we've arrived back in Jodhpur after our Bishnoi village experience and it was quite interesting to see certain elements of the Bishnoi community like the opium ceremony and going to the other community to see how they do new, the pottery but I'm not quite sure if my expectations were fully met on you know what this experience is going to be like I was really looking forward to actually seeing how the Bishnois live and how they are together with nature and how they coexist like that and learn a little bit more about them whereas I feel that this um, tour was really packaged as a very quick tour I mean we left this morning at half past eight we're supposed to be back at one we're back in Jodhpur we we're here at like half past eleven so it was very quick we just went in you know quickly got the the opium ceremony quickly went to driving through a Bishnoi village, went to Gura Lake and then went to like the pottery and the block printing and stuff like this. Whereas I really thought that we would be spending a little bit more time in the village. Now I do understand that this is a, like a modern way of making money and it's very understandable. You know, you're showing people a bit of your culture. So you're just showing different tourists, different elements of your culture. And then, you know, you can get a tip or you earn money with that. So I fully understand that. I just think that if you want a more real and authentic experience where you're not rushed and you're actually going through the village and you'll obviously not be able to do that just with the tour operator here in Jodhpur. You'd have to actually go look for that a little bit more. But in the end, it was an interesting day and it was nice to be outside of Jodhpur a bit. And still, you know, we did get to see some of the community and uh, some of the experiences. So I thought that was cool. But um, yeah, for me, 100% worth it. I would, I think I should have invested a little bit more time in researching who we went with and uh, you know, what the itinerary would be. Because I would actually like to experience a village life a little bit more and learn truly about the Bishnois because their story to me sounds really interesting and uh, I don't feel like I completely got to, uh, got to know that today. Anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, then I really hope to see you in the next one. So hit the subscribe button and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.